Welcome to day two of Rocky Railway VBS. Train conductors Danielle and Dave here, choo choo in our way through stories of Jesus' awesome power. Yeah, yesterday we learned how Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. Today we are reminded that Jesus' power gives us hope. Yep. Today we leave the train railways and board a boat where we're going to experience Jesus' power giving us hope through the storms of life. Ah, our friend Michael, he's going to share the Bible lesson of Paul, who was a prisoner on a ship, mm. and how he told the crew that the ship would sink, but that God would keep the crew safe and alive. That sounds like an exciting but scary adventure. Sometimes we all go through hard situations, times when we feel helpless, or situations that seem hopeless. But the Bible tells us that Jesus' power gives us hope no matter how scary the situation. Well, am I going to need this to get through tonight's Bible lesson? Danielle, that might be a good idea. You might get wet with that storm we're going to see. Well, hey. What's in our um, daily packet for day two? Oh, okay, I'm glad that you asked. Day two packets. Hopefully you guys had a chance to pick up some packets because they've got so many cool things to help you out with our VBS. Like, we've got our schedule for tonight. So you guys can know what's coming up during the video. Um, it's got, well, you know us conductors. We like to follow a tight schedule, tight schedule. but we got to have our schedule here. We also have a new Imagination Station project to assemble and put together. Ooh, this looks kind of fun. I can't wait until the kids see this. Um, ooh, there's also a choo-choo snack recipe in here. Ooh, yum. It looks nummy here. Okay. It's a bagel tunnel, so can't wait to see that. Um, and our animal story tonight is from Ava the red-tailed hawk. So they'll get a picture to color of Ava. Cool, awesome. I can't wait to hear all about what Ava has to say. And during locomotion games, Mrs. Connor has another really fun game to teach everyone. All right, all of that tonight, plus another great kid vid story about a girl named Annalise who played an interest interesting instrument. Hmm, an interesting instrument, you say. I wonder what that could be. I can't wait to see what it is and to hear what it is. Hey, boys and girls, here's a question for you. If you could learn to play any instrument, what would it be? Oh, that's a fun question to think about. I love to sing, and I'm so thankful for the many instruments that accompany me when I get to help lead worship by singing. Hey kids, why don't you pretend to play an instrument that you'd like to learn? Ready? On the count of three, we'll pretend to play. One, two, oh. Cool, can I play the air guitar? Or maybe the umbrella guitar? <laughs> Yes, Dave, you sure can. Okay. You can join in too. One, two, three. Go ahead and pretend to play. And while you're at it, sing along to our Rocky Railway theme song. Oh yeah, his power will pull us through. Here it is. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open. 
open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Whoa, 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 whoa. We trust, we trust, we trust in you Jesus You're all, you're all, you're all that we need Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope. Welcome everybody to day two of VBS uh, and the Bible lesson. Today's totally true story from the Bible may get your feet a little wet as we discover how Jesus' power gives us hope. Speaking of hope, I hope we don't run into any problems today. You know, we're going to get on this boat here and I always get a little seasick on the water, you know, but it's a gorgeous day and we're supposed to have smooth sailing. So uh, you guys ready to get on board? Well, now we're just going to wait for the captain to arrive, and he sent this note, so let's see what he has to say. Then we can get going. Oh. Oh, no. Well, then, I guess the captain will not be joining us today. It looks like he's feeling a little under the weather. So it looks like I'm going to be uh, taking you guys on a trip here. I haven't sailed in a while, but it's kind of like riding a bike, I guess. You never really forget, except there's no pedals, and... It's a lot wetter, but anyway, let's set sail. I forgot we need wind for that, you know, on a sailboat here. Uh, so I guess we just have to wait for the wind. But, uh, you know, while we're waiting, let's talk about something. Tell about something you'd like to change in your life, but feel powerless to do anything about it. As for me, I feel powerless about not being able to go to church and see my friends every week because of this pandemic. What about you guys? What's something in your life that you feel powerless to do anything about? Parents, if you want to pause the video and discuss this with your kids for a minute or two, you can go ahead and do that right now. It's no fun to be powerless. It feels hopeless. But today, we're learning about a new kind of power, the power of Jesus. And Jesus' power gives us hope. Hey, we have wind. Let's go. Should be an easy trip, you know, unless that prisoner that's chained up down below starts acting up. He said our ship would sink, that all our cargo would be lost, but we shouldn't be sailing today, apparently. He ain't a sailor, though, and, you know, I know a lot more about this, you know. Sailing on a steering wheel here, and I uh, think I know what I'm doing here. He doesn't. He's just a prisoner. You know, his name is Paul, and from what I hear, he's a Christian who, uh, got in trouble because he keeps telling people about Jesus and after God changed his heart from hating people that follow Jesus to actually becoming one of the people who follows Jesus the best. The Emperor of Rome doesn't want people to follow Jesus. He wants people to follow him. A little egotistical if you ask me. 
But Paul kept talking, and now he's off to Rome to stand trial in front of the emperor himself. I wouldn't want to be in Paul's sandals. I've heard some of you guys might be Christians too. If you don't mind, uh, can I ask you a question or two? If you could tell a person who didn't know Jesus something about Jesus, what would you say? Again, parents, if you want to pause the video and discuss this with a minute with your kids, that'd be great. If you talk about Jesus, you probably won't get chained up and stuck in the bottom of the ship like that prisoner Paul is. Huh, what is that? Oh, looks like it's starting to rain here. Oh, it's getting all in my face. Maybe there is a storm coming after all. I'll go below and check to see whether Paul's all right and... I'll go check the charts to make sure, you know, that we don't have a huge storm coming. Maybe we do. I'll be right back. Bad news, mates. We got some water down below in the hold. Some of the cargo starting to float around, and it doesn't look like uh, we're going to be going into some calm seas. I hope that that Paul guy wasn't right about all this. I don't really want to sink the old gal here, but things could get rough. Really rough. Feel that? Wind is kicking up. Man, it's starting to get a little shaky here. We might be in for some real rough weather. I'll check to see if Paul's still okay. Hunker down until I get back. Well, Paul said we should eat these, grow up some food for us, some crackers and chips here. So if you guys ain't have any food at home, I'd say uh, have some now for the journey ahead. Because you're going to need it. Looks like it's getting rough down there. Got some clouds rolling in. We got some good news and bad news. The bad news is, Paul says the old girl here is going to sink tonight. That would be sad. But the good news is, he says none of us are going to drown. So, you know, I guess that's good. Paul says Jesus will take care of us. And well, I hope that's true. In fact, you know, is that shore over there? I think it might be. You guys, take a look over there. Is that shore you see? Well, we might just be in luck yet. We'll try to make for the shore, but, you know, I got a, I got a tough call in this situation. Normally, I'm supposed to kill a prisoner if it looks like we're going to get shipwrecked or some bad storm's coming. But, you know, Paul gave us food, and he told us about Jesus, so I don't really, I don't think we should kill him. What do you guys think? I think you're right. We should definitely let him live, you know, besides, this storm is getting real worse. Oh, man, they're getting some waves on deck here. Oh, that was cold, soaking, running the ground. It's getting real rough around here. I gotta go get Paul, and we might have to get off ship. You guys just try to hold tight, don't fall off yet. Alright guys, we're gonna we're gonna have to jump aboard this ship. Oh, about to break up. We're gonna have to jump on the count of three, ready? One, oh, two, freeze. Whew! My heart is racing. Everyone take a seat. I need to rest my legs here. Oh Whew. Imagine that in real life, if you're on a, a boat. And you're in a huge storm, you know, lightning crashing, thunder, and then the, the waves were crashing all on you. Imagine how scary that would be. It must have been awful. You know, Paul was right. Not one person on that ship was lost. Trusting in Jesus gave them hope in this shipwreck situation. Circle up with your family again. Earlier, you guys talked about situations that left you feeling powerless. Talk again, but this time... Talk about how Jesus' power might give you hope in these situations. How might Jesus' power give you a distance? Parents, you go first. Share with your kids some insight and then let them see uh, what they have to say about it. You can pause the video now. Thanks for sharing. I know my friendship with Jesus powers what hope I have in him about how he's going to make everything work out with this pandemic. I'm so glad I know Jesus. And I know that praying about my situation, that is talking with God, is really helpful. Parents, would you take a moment to pray with your kids after we're done? Ask that Jesus' power will give them hope. And kids, 
I hope you have fun in the rest of VBS, and always remember, Jesus loves you. Hi guys, welcome to Imagination Station. Uh, today we are remembering that Jesus' power gives us hope. We are going to be making hope hovers today. And you're just going to take your little uh, cardboard roll and your little blue plastic ball holder here and place that there. You can also decorate uh, your foam balls if you want and place them over the holes. And this is going to remind us that sometimes when we are feeling a little down, we need to remember the hope Jesus gives us. The hope Jesus gives us raises our spirits and makes us feel better. Have fun! <laughs>
an H. So I have an H. <laughs> tired after all that, but there's more. Let's watch the kid vid story of Annalise. My name's Annalise and I'm 11 years old. Annalise is a singer and accordion player. I started playing the accordion at the age of eight years old. She plays a style of traditional Mexican music called Norteño. I love making music because I feel happy when I make music. I feel like I'm like more closer to God because I sing for Him and I play for Him. When she's not playing music, Annalise loves playing basketball with her brothers and taking care of all the animals on the ranch in Arizona where she lives. On our ranch, we have horses, pigs, chickens, and goats. My horse's name is Frosty. He's a really nice horse. Sometimes he's really sleepy. He doesn't like to walk. I don't think he sleeps in the night or something, but he's really tired. Annalise didn't know when she started playing music years ago that it would end up being so helpful and bringing hope to her and her grandmother when they went through a hard time. So my grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017. As her grandma fought cancer, Annalise and her accordion constantly kept her grandma's spirits up and helped her to keep fighting. Uh, when I played my accordion to my grandma, I would be happy because I would see her happy. She would smile, be like really happy, and my grandpa as well, he would be happy too. I usually play um, one of her favorite songs, which is Let's Praise the Lord, and she loved that song. Annalise sings that song for us. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. He is worthy. To be praised, he is wonderful, marvelous, Lord of lords, kings of kings. Annalise and her grandma held on to hope in Jesus, even though times were hard. What brought me hope was that I would always hear her pray. Like in my like opinion, I would be sad when I would see her like drink all those medicines that she would have to drink but I knew she had hoped that God would make a miracle in her. After lots of praying and trusting in Jesus' power, Annalise's grandmother got better. God healed her from cancer. Jesus' power gives us hope means to me like Jesus has love for us. Jesus has the power for us to have hope in him. In the Bible, in the book of Psalms, chapter 31, verse 24, it says, So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. God's always with you. God loves you. God's here for you. God loves everyone equally. He would love you too. Annalise learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. All right, kids, how many of you guessed that the instrument that Annalise played was the accordion? <laughs> the accordion? I bet not many. Wow, that is a unique instrument for sure. And what a blessing to her grandmother to be able to hear songs of encouragement from Annalise. You know what, Dave? I really love how Annalise um, what, said that she sings for God. 
and that she plays the accordion for God too. Yeah, and her song said it all. I'm going to use my hands to praise the Lord, for he is wonderful, marvelous, Lord of lords, and King of kings. Annalise's grandmother having cancer is definitely a scary thing. And today's Bible verse tells us that when scary things happen, we can trust Jesus and he gives us hope and courage. Yeah, Psalm 31 verse 24 says, So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Hey, you know what? I've got some hand motions for that verse tonight too. And they're pretty simple. There's three of them, okay? So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Want to say it one more time, you guys? So be strong, strong and, and courageous, courageous, all you who put your hope in the, in the Lord. Lord. Excellent. Hey, Dave, you said um, we get to see um, uh, what a story about the Ava, the red-tailed oh, hawk. Yeah, Ava, you're right. Here she is. Glad you're back on track at Rocky Railway. Wow, the first day just flew by, didn't it? I'm Ava, a red-tailed hawk. You can find me and my family members all over North America. We're everywhere. Even though we live all across North America, you may not see me in your backyard. <laughs> well, unless you don't have any neighbors. We like to live in wide open spaces where we can soar over treetops, grass, and water looking for food. You might say that red-tailed hawks are faithful friends. When we find a mate, we stay together for life. My fine feathered friend and I build our nests together and care for our chicks together. We're an excellent team. I'm happiest way up in the sky. That's why I build my nest at the tallest point I can find. Some hawk nests have been spotted as high as 120 feet off the ground. That's as high as a human tower of 20 tall crew leaders. My nest might be at the tip top of a tree or even on the top of a building or a telephone pole. That gives me a bird's eye view of what's around food, friends, or animals that might want to hurt us. Ah, I love soaring with my big, beautiful wings. They're more than three feet across, you know. God gave me just what I needed to catch the wind and just fly. Up here, you see things differently. Stuff that seemed big seems smaller. Things that seemed harder look much easier. A path that looks like a dead end Hey, I can see a way out! A fresh perspective can put the wind under your wings and give you the strength to keep going. Sometimes I spot you humans with my sharp hawk eyes, and you look a little down. Do things seem impossible? Scary? Hopeless? Maybe you need a fresh perspective. Maybe you need to see things Jesus' way, with hope! Jesus is stronger than anything. He has a plan for everything. You can have strength, courage, and hope. The Bible encourages us with these words. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Jesus' power gives us hope. So trust Jesus. I'm so thankful that we got to hear um, some encouraging words from Ava, the red-tailed hawk. Maybe we need a fresh perspective sometimes when things seem scary and hopeless. Maybe we need to see things Jesus' way. Absolutely. And just like Ava said, Jesus is stronger than anything. And that gives us hope, Danielle. Hey, what was our theme again tonight? Let's say it together. Jesus' power gives us hope. Kids, say that again. Jesus' Jesus power gives, gives us hope. hope. We'll see you tomorrow night for another exciting night of Rocky Railway VBS. Choo-choo.
nothing we